Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It seems that you've been exploring flowers quite a bit, and maybe you've made some discoveries of your own. Like, maybe you wanted to know more about the stamen and the pistil. Well, why don't we explore those today? What you'll need is a piece of blank paper to draw on, and of course, a stamen and a pistol to draw and label. However, if you weren't able to find these, maybe you didn't find any complete flowers that had both parts, or maybe you just couldn't find a really nice flower with big, beautiful stamens and pistils in it. Well, in that case, on the drive, I have put a copy of this drawing, which we can go ahead and color and label together. Pretty fantastic, but you'll also need some beautiful colored pencils then. Remember, flowers can be so vibrant with an assortment of colors. Look carefully at the colors you see in your flower to make your selections. Well, let's start first with which is the stamen and which is the pistil. Hmm. Well, remember, the stamen is the male part of the flower. It produces the pollen, and the pistil is the female part of the flower that's going to catch that. So, uh, yeah, the stamen is right over here, and you may even remember it from when you did the parts of a flower. And they come in all shapes and sizes. Well, that would make this the female part of the flower, the pistil. Go ahead and label those two, and then let's talk about some of the other parts. The stamen is responsible for creating the pollen, and all of the pollen is released from, well, what looks like a strange little bean at the top. That is called the anther. Anther comes from the word anthos, which is Greek for flower. Pretty cool, right? And the anther is on top of this very long, well, sort of almost like a pole, right? It's called the filament. And filament comes from the Latin word filum, which means a thread. It's long and thin and sways. Remember, if a visitor comes, it needs to knock some of that pollen. Or if the wind blows, it needs to be able to release that pollen. So being able to move a lot is very important. Let's talk about that pistil. Look at it. And remember, the top part of the pistil is ooh, sticky, right? So that the pollen can be caught. That is called the stigma. The sticky stigma. Stigma is a Greek word for a mark made by a point. And it's supported on a, uh, another piece, just like how the anther is supported by a filament. The stigma is supported by what we call a style. That comes from the Greek word stylus, like a writing tool. Sort of looks like a writing tool, huh? Very cool. At the bottom of the pistol is the ovary. That comes from the word ovum. It's a Latin word which means egg. And inside the ovary, you can see these little things. Each one of these is called an ovule. An ovule comes from the same word as ovary. It means egg. These little pockets in here are what are going to become the brand new plants. The pollen will travel from the anther, get stuck to the stigma, and then it's almost like it burrows a little tunnel all the way down the style, a very, very thin tunnel, about a cell in width, all the way down to the ovary, connecting with an ovule and fertilizing it. It's pretty amazing, and then we get juicy, delicious fruits filled with beautiful seeds that we can plant in the ground and create new plants with more beautiful flowers full of stamen and pistils that are going to make more and more plants. It's pretty amazing, but you know, this isn't so amazing yet. Well, we really need some color on here. When we want to think of these colors, well, 
Ah, you're going to have to look at yours, but you know, I've seen some of you be very creative and even use parts of the plant to stain the paper the colors that you like. Well, I think I've found my colors, and I can't wait to see what colors your stamen and pistols become. They should be pretty beautiful, right? Vibrant, amazing in both sight, color, shape, pattern, and scent inviting all those visitors to them and completing the work that they need to provide for their needs. Have fun coloring your stamens and pistols.